This is project 2 video demo for group number 1. You can start the program by uh, clicking on the debug button. As you see the start menu pops up. On the right side you can see all these simple instructions to uh, how to do uh, run the program. And on the left side you can have you have selections to uh, choose from and you can move with the up and down arrow. Um, when you hit enter on the part 1 you, you see a a four bar mechanism uh, move. Uh, if you want to see more options, uh, you can simply click right button and first function will show you the displacement. Uh, as you can see, if you click and drag, you can see the mechanism move around the screen. You can turn it off and we'll see the next function circle. Uh, circle, um, it shows, uh, you can see the 360 degree possible rotation path at each joint um, with the current uh, link length. Again, you can turn it off by going clicking on the off. Ne next is the max data to rotation. Default is set as 180 degree movement, but if you click on the 360 data to, uh, it will rotate 360 degree and you can click on the 180 to go back to the default setting uh, next function is the path uh, user can draw uh, trace the path by himself again I can simply click and drag uh, to draw a new, new line and now I can use displacement function to make our forward mechanism to have the same path as the one that I just drew oh, and I can also use um, keyboard buttons to uh, increase or decrease the link length uh, you have to uh, actually play with it a lot a uh, long time to make it fit well, we'll show you uh, more uh, you can play with it once you install the program on your uh, computer uh, I just hit the um, reset button to uh, go back to the original default setting. The next is the theta to rotation. Um, when you hit stop, uh, the four bar mechanism uh, stops. And if you click on uh, start again, it just resumes. Uh, next is the information section. Uh, all these um, link length and the theta, the angle values, uh, they update in real time. And now we can move, uh, we can increase this uh, link length or decrease the link length. Now I'll try to. Uh, decrease the link 1 to 0 and now you see on the bottom of the screen uh, a error message saying that it, the bar length cannot be 0 another feature uh, we, we have is you can go back and forth between the uh, 4 bar link, 4 bar mechanism and the slider crank as you see, if you just started the slider crank, it shows an error message on the top. It, say, it says um, the ground is not long enough to, for the link 4 to move. Uh, you can finish the program by clicking right click and quit. I will show you the part 2 next. Uh, same thing, you go to the start menu and uh, select part 2, uh, enter. On the left side of the screen you can see the inputs and various outputs. You can update the theta uh, value 
uh, with uh, pressing G and decrease by pressing B. Angle velocity is you can uh, hit uh, H button to increase and to decrease. We'll see now um, if you go ahead and click on theta 2 rotation. Um, the first case was this uh, slide case. Next, we'll sh uh, change these input values to uh, show you the how um, the case which the object stays on the link. Okay, again, right click. Uh, theta to rotation start and now uh, I just set it to uh, reset and I'm uh, changing the values so that uh, the object can fly away And we're gonna uh, we're gonna right click and then select uh, theta to rotation. There you go. The object just flew away. Uh, I just finished the program by uh, clicking on the qu uh, quit, or you can also press Q to finish the program. That about sums up our um, video demo and everything works perfect.